Hello there, lovely people. It's Alex from Nintendo Life here, and today I'm going to be talking about the most exciting of all things, 1-2 Switch. Yeah, all right, it's not the most exciting topic, and to be honest, I think when, you know, we first saw it for the first time, everyone was a little bit sort of disheartened and thought, well, what really is this crap? I know that's how I felt, and even after going and playing the game myself, I felt that there really wasn't much substance to it, let alone for a £40 game. Is it £40 still? I can't remember how much they're charging for it. Apparently, I typed in one too swift, I can't even spell. Okay, the price at the moment is £34.99 on Amazon. Now, that's a little bit easier to swallow, big buy about, well, five pounds. But it's still expensive for something that everybody is comparing to Wii Sports. So, why on earth, due to the title, do I think that it's gonna be great? Well, I'll tell you. Now, despite being fairly unenthused to begin with, after thinking about it and seeing more of things like the Super Bowl commercial and thinking about commercial, I said commercial, that's weird. We generally call it an ad over here in the UK because we're cockney geezers or something like that. But in the Super Bowl ad, you saw everybody, you know, playing 1-2-Switch and they look like they're having a really good time when actually it turns out that they were just looking at the debug menu, which was fun. Thanks, Portugal. But we saw a variety of new games. There was like a sword fighting one, and I'm not sure how well that'll actually work in practice. I'd like to think it could be really good. Maybe something to do with the IR sensor along with the... Uh, the Joy-Cons, you know, the motion controls in them, knowing where they are in 3D space. If they're that clever, then well done. But seeing those wasn't what changed my mind about it. And I do still think it's a little bit rich, don't get me wrong. 34 pounds for it, is it well, sorry, 35 pounds, which is what, about $40 or so, is asking too much for this game. But there is still a lot of, bit, 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 there is still a lot of fun to be had with it. And I think what it comes down to is how you play. Everybody at the moment is looking at it as a video game. And yes, I suppose it technically is a video game, there's no escaping that fact. But if we treat it more as like a party game and not even a party video game like Mario Party or something like that, but as a party game, I think it opens up a lot more sort of avenues for enjoying this game for what it truly is. If you think Nintendo was expecting you to say to your friend who sat down on the sofa next to you, hey, do you fancy playing some 1-2 Switch? And your friend being like, that sounds super, then you're wrong, that's not the point of the game. Clearly this is the sort of thing where you take your Nintendo Switch to a party or something like that, some sort of gathering, maybe even a rooftop party, if they actually exist. We don't have them here in the UK because all of our roofs look like that. And you set down the Nintendo Switch, you take off the Joy-Cons and you say, hey mate, here you go, take that, and they say, what am I supposed to do with this? And you say, when the game says so, you gotta shake it up like a champagne bottle, and they think, well that looks a bit rude, and they're right. But if anything, that just builds on the joy of it, you know, sort of, okay, yes, you know, it's supposed to be a champagne cork, but if, if, you, if you're of the sort of more dirty-minded, I'm sure you could think of something else that it resembles. And if anything, that's even more fun in a way. It's just hilarious to go around going, I mean, you saw them in the advert holding the bottom as though it were a champagne bottle, but you know anyone who plays that game at a party is going to be there going furiously, going like this as much as they possibly can, and that's the joy of it. It's supposed to be ridiculous, and it is. You're going to be in a room full of a load of people, all doing that as much as they they possibly can, or, you know, milking a cow staring into the eyes of another player, and it's just such ridiculous fun. It's, I, I think the thing that it reminds me of in many ways is things like uh, the Jackbox games. I've played them a number of times, not as much as I'd like because they really are fantastic games, but they have that same sort of factor of ev anybody can just jump in and play, you know, sort of Jackbox uses a smart device, but uh, the Switch, it's the Joy-Cons, but you know, you the other people don't have to have the Joy-Cons. You bring the Joy-Cons with you. And as far as we can tell, you only ever need two. So right out of the box, you've got this thing, provided you've bought one to Switch, that can be a party game for, as far as we can tell right now, a large group of people. And they, they, most of the games appear to be two-player, or, you know, um, like, all this. there's the safe-cracking one, there's the, the ball-counting one where you've got to hold the balls in your hand, there's, um, obviously, the um, sword-catching one where you've got to go like that. that we, I don't know the names of them. There's the Wild Gunman one that I'm not... It's called something like Quick Draw, but the Wild Gunman one where you've got to go bang like that. And there's another one where you've got to pick up the phone it's just, it's mad, ridiculous gameplay, and I think that is, to its credit, the best thing about it. For most of the time, only two people are going to be playing it, but then you play a different game and another two people play it, and the, yeah, there's another game similar to it called Bumpy's Party, and that actually has a lot of similar things to 1-2 uh, Switch, which I don't know whether anyone's made that comparison before, I'm sure they have, but they... 
just have so many parallels and I, whilst I haven't actually, I don't know where I'm going with this. The fact is that it's madcap fun, it's really not designed to be taken seriously in any way, shape or form, and I think by having a large group of people who have all maybe had a little bit to drink and, you know, maybe a little bit merry, you know, had a nice big plate of food or a big pizza or something, and you just want some random fun, you know, sort of, what do you fancy doing? Oh, let's play one, two, switch, oh yeah, go on then. And you can add your own rules into the things, you know, because it doesn't give you your own rules, you know, as far as we we can tell it's not, you know, so, you know, this team gets this many points and this team gets this many points. And leaving it that broad and that open, I think, really helps to make it as broad and as enticing as it possibly can be. And more, most importantly, the most fun it can be. And that really is the thing to take away from 1-2 Switch. Is it still overpriced, though? Yeah, I think it is. I think for £35, that really is pushing the boundary. It's certainly better than the initial, I think they were asking, £50 was the initial RRP, which was insane. What's £50? It's well, at the moment, it's probably about $50, which is depressing. But I mean, if you can pick up 1-2 Switch for, say, 20 quid or something like that, I think that is a perfectly reasonable price because it just has so many different applications and it's not something that anybody has to learn, much like Wii Sports, it's very natural, but even more so because it's just, you know, hold this and when it says fire, draw it like it's a gun and press the trigger. How long did that take to explain? Other party games like Mario Party and things like that, they are great, but they are an entirely different beast. You can't compare the two because Mario Party, you've got to say, okay, well, you roll the dice and, or the die in this instance, and then you've got to, you've got to go around the board, and then you, when you land on the space, things happen, then you've got to play a minigame, and the minigame has to be explained. Okay, you know, the minigames are very easy to explain in Mario Party, but they have to be explained every time. Everything's got its own control scheme. With one, two switch, it's just, you know, if it needs to be explained, it's okay, you need to, you know, lift up the controller, roll it around in your hand, and guess how many balls there are inside. That's all the explanation it takes, and that's the whole mini game. And there's nothing in between that's sort of bogging it down, which some people may want something in between to bog it down. But you can add it if you want to add this as a contribution to another game. Like, for example, I don't know, you're playing Monopoly or something, and you can't decide or you can't pay for something and rather than going bankrupt the person says okay I'll give you a chance if you can beat me in milking a cow if you can milk more than I can then I'll let you stay for free it's little things like that you can add it in to other games and I think that's one of the strongest assets of it is its versatility and I'm not really sure I need to say it but this could be taken into the context of a drinking game yes I'm going to be talking about the consumption of alcohol and it is so even nah it's not it's quite nice but imagine if you will you sat down with a load of friends again you've all had a little bit to drink and you want to have a little bit more to drink it's one of those sort of parties and you say okay well now let's play some one to switch loser has to take a shot or something like that and that you know or you know the winner can you know something along those lines they're quick little games that are over in but a moment and the whole idea is that they've replayed over and over again for more fun and more ridiculousness and rumors are saying that there are 20 games and we don't know whether that's true but if there are 20 games that's loads we've already seen so many i personally like the phone one because i, I seem to think judging by the trailer it seemed to show you know sort of it rings and people have to pick it up but if it rings and it's not the right ring you don't pick it up because if you do you lose or something along those lines you know it's it's just little things like that they really have just gone mad and sort of thought what's fun what's fun to do stick it in the game i'm not sure how much longevity you'll get out of it and it really doesn't have any place as a single player game or even two people you know that's not much of a party and so you are very limited with the applications of one two switch but in many ways you know once you get into that situation the applications are so broad it's not just sit down and play it's you take it to a party and you can do all these things applied to so many different things and you know what i reckon if this had come out when i was at university and i was living with my flatmates any dispute i reckon we could probably settle in one two switch because th th there is a certain level of skill in it and if you're really good at it then you know i'm sure you will be the best in certain games but there are also certain other games like maybe the ball counting game where you can only get so good so it's a great leveler and i think that's the really important thing to take away from here among all the other things that I've said are really important to take away from here. So I say for now, don't judge 1-2-Switch too harshly. Just think about the other ways that you could use it in order to have a fun time. And it is almost definitely 
only ever going to be a party game. You're not going to sit down and do the milking game for half an hour just to have some fun. That's not what it is. It's not that kind of game. To be honest, in many ways, you might not even really class it as a video game because you're barely looking at the screen except for to see the score. The whole point is they're trying to take you away from the screen. So is it a video game or is it just an electronic game? Well, I'll let you decide down there in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, then why don't you shake that subscribe button up and down until it just can't contain it anymore and it just pops everywhere. And be sure to check out NintendoLife.com for all sorts of lovely Nintendo-related content. Thank you again for watching. Bye-bye. Oh,